Hello, good afternoon, good evening, and maybe good morning is in order, depending on where you are watching this live segment. I'm Dr. E. Michelle Mickens, and I am the minister and overseer of Exusia Power Ministries. And I have not been on in a while. I know that I have to work on being more consistent, but today, Today is a good day to pop on. I am trying to stay cool. I'm in Northwest Ohio. For those of you all who are watching from other places in the world, because I know that that happens all the time. And it's warm. It's been, the past couple of days, it's been less warm, but we've had 90 plus degrees, uh, de degree weather. And so I am dressed like this, enjoying my summer and trying to again stay cool or cooler nevertheless i wanted to pop on today i, I wrote in the topic as today's topic be alert and let me make sure my sound is up we're in a trying season right now those of us who are believers those of us who we want to take a stand, right? We want to express ourselves. We are being challenged left and right. Many of us who are believers in the Lord Jesus Christ and, and happen to be African-American, um, black, and proud of that, we are challenged in so many ways because of the challenge, because of the testing of our our allegiance i'm here to encourage you to be alert i'm here to encourage you to not fall prey to the schemes and wiles of the enemy mm -hmm. see we know the enemy is crafty the enemy that i'm referring to is satan the enemy that i'm referring to is anything anyone that would cause us to deviate from the word of God. Now, that's a choice. And I want to help you make the right choice as we're being challenged in so many areas. I mean, we're not only challenged about our ethnicity, right? Being black and, and standing up for, you know, for example, the black lives matter movement now one thing that's for sure is black lives absolutely matter but i've said this before and i'm going to say this again as a woman of god who studies the word and i know i know that many of you all under the sound of my voice who's watching this video would agree that you too are a student of the word hello there i can't see that's one thing I can rarely see who is joining me, but I'm glad that you're here. So as a student of the word, as one who rightly handles that word of truth, we know that we have an obligation if we are truly disciples of Jesus Christ, that we are going to adhere to what the word of God says. When it comes down to who's on first, God is always first, right? We seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And everything else that concerns us will be added unto us. Everything else that we need will be added unto us. But earlier this week, I was challenged by something. Um, I, I won't say challenged. I'll say it this way. I was in a dreamlike state. I wasn't quite asleep, but I wasn't fully awoke. And the word ignorant, it just, it was like, it was a, an alarm, ignorant. And so I began to question, you know, God, are you, you call, you're not saying I'm ignorant, right? I asked. And so the scripture, because I, I couldn't go back to sleep. I couldn't fall into a, a sleep state. By that point, I'm, I'm like, okay, what's going on? And the scripture that came to mind was 2 Corinthians 2. And 11 and it reads this way I love the English Standard Version so I'm gonna read from there so that we would not be outwitted by Satan 
for we are not ignorant of his designs. Many versions have different sayings such as we are not ignorant of his schemes. Um, we're not outwitted. We're not, I say bamboozled. We're not fooled. We are not um, taken advantage of by Satan. And the, the ways in which we can be easily taken advantage of comes by way of being vulnerable. The enemy knows our likes and dislikes. He studies us. And he knows what buttons will trigger a response or a reaction if we're not careful. I've mentioned before, I'm African American in case you couldn't tell. I'm all for black lives. I've said this before. I've gone live. I've posted in various on various platforms. I love the color of my skin and I care deeply for my people. I could go on about personal experiences that I've have had that challenged my blackness that made me feel a certain type of way. I've dealt with microaggression. I've dealt with racism on various levels. Uh, my father, you know, my mother, I'm not 100% sure if my sisters have, but I can say that many people that I know have experienced racism in, in its various ways, some form of biasness, some form of, of um, prejudice and blatant hatred. It's evil and it's satanically driven. Um, this is the thing that I want to encourage you to do. Don't allow anything or anyone to press your buttons. We are in a critical moment, a critical point in time. We are dealing with the pandemonium of the pandemic and we're dealing with the pain in the protest, we have, we're at a crossroads and nothing is wrong with that. We grow in moments like this. In chaos and in crisis, these are times where we can thrive, especially as men and women of God. So we can embrace these times. It may be uncomfortable, it may be painful. Many of us lost, lost friends, lost loved ones, COVID-19. We've, we've seen them suffer. Many of us, we couldn't be there with them. I don't take any of that lightly. Many of us have seen violence, seen the attacks, experienced the attacks because of the color of our skin for no other reason than just blatant hatred because of our skin color. But I want to say, in spite of all of that, and it is not easy, but we, as believers, have to be very protective. We have to guard our hearts. There's some of us that want to be about the movement. Many of us that want to move, but this is what I know the word of God, the, the will of God is that we are mindful of where and when we move and how we move and who we move with. I'm not 100% sure if it was on this particular platform, but I've said this before. We cannot afford to be unequally yoked. Un being un unequally yoked has to do with marriage. It has to, do, has to do with relationships. We are at a point where we cannot afford to allow ourselves to be yoked with an unbeliever or even with someone who's not believing at a level or at least at the level where we are because I'm still unequally yoked all the more reason why we have to guard our hearts. And the enemy is trying to outwit us. He's trying to take advantage of us. He's trying to, he's trying to find, because he's moving quickly, because he knows his time is up. So he's moving at a pace where he knows that I've got to find a way to get him. I've got to find a way to get her. I've got to cause division and confusion in the church. Because when it's all said and done, his goal is to cause division in the body of Christ. We, the called out ones, the ecclesia, we have to not allow ourselves to become prey. 
to the devices, the schemes, the design of the enemy. Understand, he is clever. He knows our flavor. He knows what we love. He knows our weaknesses. He studies us because his goal is to kill, steal, and to destroy. And he's always about that. He never lose sight of his purpose. But we cannot afford to lose sight of ours. And in everything that we do, we have to glorify God. So I've said this before. I'm going to say this again. Always do your homework. Do your research. When you join up with any organization, any person, anybody, you want to know what they really are about. What do you really believe? That means check out the website. That means find out. I always say it this way. Who is the founder? Who are the funders? There may be one or many. Doesn't matter what the organization is. Who are the funders and who are, who are the founders? What do they stand for? And understand this, if there's any one piece that is not in alignment with the word of God, that means that they are not in alignment with the word of God, period. There is no partiality. The Lord God requires us to serve him with our whole heart. There isn't a part that we can reserve and hold back and say, you know what, but I'm a black person. So I'm going to, I'm going to commit everything, but this part, because this part, it hurts. This part, I remember what I suffered. This part, my father, my mother, my family, my grandfather, they suffered and fought for this part, this part. I'm not going to let go of God wants all of us. He doesn't want us to be lukewarm. He wants us to be on fire for him, period. He's an all or nothing God. Everything that he does for us is absolute and complete. He wants nothing less from us. So there is no part that we reserve or hold back or ask him to overlook or forgive. He holds us accountable. We are responsible for what we know and we cannot choose to be ignorant. Be not ignorant to the devices, the plans, the schemes of the enemy. He does not want us to be outwitted. His word is so clear in terms of what our responsibilities are, who we should be allegiant to, our allegiance should be to. It's clear in his word. So my assignment today, I put this thing off and I don't have any reason other than nonsense when it's when it's all said and done there is no reason not to come forth because god expects us to be bold when it comes to his word bold and courageous stand to take a stand to stand for righteousness to stand for justice that's what i stand for and that's what i believe that you stand for as well but in standing for righteousness and justice make sure that you're not compromising on another plane in another way by standing with by tying yourself with, by becoming a part of an organization, a group, no matter who they are, that does not embrace the Lord Jesus Christ, that dishonors him, that has another agenda that they're pushing under the guise of, under the name of. Pay attention. There's a lot of chatter that really doesn't matter. The only voice that you want to hear in this season is the voice of God. Be careful of the chatter. There's a, there, there, there's so many false prophets. And they're preaching gloom and doom. That's not me today. We serve a God that would not leave his people vulnerable and just open. There's a plan, and God's plan is the plan that's going to supersede all of, of the plans of the enemy. But we have to be ready. We have to be on guard. We have to be alert. We have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is always talking to us, guiding us, instructing us, teaching us. 
The Holy Spirit wants us to consult with him. Which way? What should I say? When should I speak? Who should I partner with? The Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth, all. The absoluteness of God is amazing. And we have access to him at all times. As long as we are seeking him and consulting with him and him alone and not allowing a lot of other voices to distract us because it will lead to destroying us. So I'm not going to be before you long, but I'm here to plead and encourage you. Be alert. Pay attention. Do not be void of knowledge, which is ignorant. Do not allow yourself to be unaware. Seek truth. There are a lot of facts, a lot of false facts. There's a lot of stuff out there. But there's only one truth. And if whatever you're studying, whatever you're reading, whatever you're, you're believing should align with the word of God. And if it doesn't, why? Why would you be associated with it? God loves you. We are in a season of repentance. Many of us in this pandemic moment and time, we've drawn closer to the Lord. How about you? Have you received the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior? As long as it's called today, the promise of entering into the rest of God remains. Don't harden your heart against God. He loves you and he wants you to be able to spend eternity with him. And you can begin to experience eternity the moment that you say yes to him. It's simple. It's easy. All you have to do is say this. Repeat this after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I recognize and accept the fact that I am a sinner. But I believe that you died to save me from my sins. My sins would take me straight to hell. But I receive you now. And knowing that when I receive you now, I will spend eternity with you in heaven. I believe that you died on a cross to save me from my sins and that you arose in three days and that you are now with the Heavenly Father and I am in you now. That's, that's it. The moment that you've accepted that you are a sinner and that you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and you accept him as your savior, you are saved. You are saved. So I, I hope that whoever heard this and was questioning whether or not they are saved, that you received Jesus Christ saying that simple prayer, repeating that back, saying it out loud, and that's how you're saved. And then it's important to connect with the church there's so many churches available where you can connect with that church, that ministry, and get fed the word of God, the truth. Let that pastor know that you received Jesus today. Today is July. You may not have seen if you catch the replay, but right now, today is what? July 17th, 2020. Again, I'm Dr. E. Michelle Mickens, and I'm the minister of Exusia Power Ministries. I'm part of Cornerstone Church in Maumee, Ohio. But you can join that church or find a church home. But we are in a season of tremendous opportunity, but there is with opportunity chaos, 
with opportunity there's a lot of confusion with opportunity there are crises and none of us have to be a victim if we are grounded in truth and the truth for me is the word of God that gives me peace hope joy nothing can take it away it's not about religion there's a lot of religions out there it's not about religion but it's about relationship and God is seeking you to have a, a better and stronger relationship even those of us who've been saved for a long time those of us who've been walking with Jesus for a long time every day we must commit ourselves every day to spend time with him to be in his presence to walk with him that means to have a lifestyle that's representing him glorifying him if you have a bible you can easily download a bible app i want to encourage you to read romans the 10th chapter it's in the table of contents romans the 10th chapter Romans 10, 10, Romans 9 and 10, that's the ninth verse and the 10th verse, but read the entire chapter. And that talks about salvation. You matter to God. He loves you more than you'll ever know. You matter. Your life and where you spend eternal life matters to God now. Don't buy into the hype. Do your research, do your study, read and then read some more. Pray. God is always listening. Pray. Pray from your heart. And guess what? The Holy Spirit will even help you with your prayers. None of us know really how to pray. But before I end, I believe I said what I was supposed to say about not being ignorant to the schemes and the plans of the enemy that causes distraction and division in the church. I believe that I've communicated that well. That's my prayer. But I want to pray with you and then I'm going to end this broadcast. Dear Heavenly Father, I just come before you right now and under the sound of my voice, I lift up those who are in a space where they are questioning, they're struggling. Many may have experienced loss. Many are wondering, where are you in this time of panic and pandemonium? Many are wondering, where are you, Lord? Father, I lift up these precious ones to you. And I pray that you will put a shield around them, a guard around them, that you will protect them and their loved ones. Perhaps they lost a loved one. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray right now that you will comfort them. Only you can bring comfort. Only you can bring comfort. I pray that you will do that, that you will make their path plain. They received you, those who received you on today as Lord and Savior. Touch their heart. Cause them to find a church home where they can continue to get fed the word of God, which is truth. Father God, I thank you for every opportunity that you have given me and that you give us all to serve you with a whole heart. Now, Father, I pray for prosperity. Father God, I pray for peace. Father God, I pray for joy. Father God, I pray that you will just again shield them and their families, those who are watching this video. And I thank you, Father God. I thank you for the, their precious lives and for all that you're going to do on their behalf because they made a connection with you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys for watching. Those who catch the replay, I thank you for watching. Understand you matter. More than anything else that matters, you matter to God. Be alert. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.